Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome and welcome back to part two of our Let's Complete series. We are going to jump right in. We are doing the shading from the page we were working on in Matchstick Mouse Summer. And I'm going to try to do this relatively quick because shading takes a little bit longer. So I'm jumping in with Prisma Colors. And to start, I'm just doing some dark green and I'm putting the dark green in where I'm going to just zoom you guys in a little bit. Hopefully, okay. Again, I'm still using the crappy light because it is the same day. So bear with me. Um, the next one will be a little bit better than this, but, uh, I'm just coming in with the dark green and I'm coming in with the dark color first because I'm actually keeping the shading kind of limited because this is only the easy version so we are not doing anything crazy so coming in with the dark green just putting in the shading where I feel like there should be shading There's like a little gnat flying around too. It's kind of bugging me a little bit. Uh, yep. So, how did you guys like part one? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you're coloring along what you guys think of it. Because I do want to continue doing it. But I do have other other projects in mind as well. So... Uh, if you guys don't really like this one or it's not really your thing or if you feel like you want to see more of the advanced categories or more of the basic categories let me know I haven't posted anything other than this one yet but if you feel like it's too easy or too quick or you know you just want to do other things let me know too don't be scared to tell me like uh or ask me rather which you know if there's something else you'd like to do because i am open to suggestions or things you'd like to see um i am open to things trying different things I don't really edit my video, so uh, the only thing I will say that I don't really do or know how to do is, you know, doing those videos where it's like a speed color and you guys can like see what... I'm going to try to lighten this up. I don't know why it's going dark on me. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how to add music to videos and things like that. Anyway... Coming in with grass green. <clears throat> and this is just to tie the shadow color and the alcohol marker color together. Just ever so lightly because I do want the alcohol marker color to be the lightest color. Um, so I don't want to have to go in with a third color. We can just kind of... Boom, and there we have it. And I hope that this light is not affecting. That's the one thing I'm kind of worried about. I should have waited until my new light came in. But I figure, you know, this is just the easy one. This is kind of like a test version for what's to come. And who's to say you guys are even going to like it? You might decide you want to see other type of content. So, <clears throat> I am still kind of trying things out to see what's all I want on my channel and what's going to be kind of like the main things of the channel. What's going to stay and what's going to, you know what I mean? Anyway, so moving on. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Like I said, I am still sick. So... 
please excuse the random coughing. Okay, I'm gonna grab peacock green. I'm gonna keep this dark green too, I think. No, I don't think I need it. I'm gonna grab peacock green, figure out where that is in my case. Uh, let's see, here it is, peacock green. And like I said in the last one, we're just trying stuff. So, uh, this is the easy version. We're not doing anything too crazy as far as shading and getting the lighting right and all of that stuff. We're just doing some quick coloring. We're getting a page done. It's going to look nice. And that's that. You know, nothing crazy. We already have a base down, so we don't need a million layers. We just put a little bit of shading in, and this is why we call this the easy level, because this is the easiest way to do it. Really, it is. Put a base down, and it doesn't even have to be alcohol markers. It can be water-based. So if you don't have any water, base markers or alcohol you know you can go in with straight pencil and you can still you know do only one or two uh colors you can just change the pressure pressure of how hard you're you know coloring and because right now i'm using one i'm using one pencil for these bushes so you don't really need you know 20 million different color combos and to achieve what you're looking for you can do it with just one because look at that <clears throat> shade it done really quick now for the water um i don't really need a lot of shading but i do want to kind of get rid of some of this patchiness so i'm gonna grab true blue and just to get a little of the areas a little bit darker I'm gonna grab peacock blue so let me just grab those two <clears throat> so I have peacock so I'm gonna come in with that first especially back here is where I want it darker Just gonna, and over here where there's like a lot of bushes. And then towards the middle is where I will have it the lightest. <clears throat> I feel like this light is going like straight dim on me. So I'm sorry for the the constant lighting change but it keeps that's why I said this one is a little shoddy because it keeps going dim and then I have to like go back and change it back to bright and so again my new one will be here tomorrow so Wednesday when I record hopefully it is a little bit better than what it is now and I'm just gonna get some of this darkness color around some of these lily pads too yeah, this, this light is a little shoddy, and I started not to record, but I do, I am trying to get membership unlocked for you guys. <laughs> so, it is a little, I have to keep up with, you know, me putting out videos, but at the same time, I want the videos to be of nice quality. I don't want you guys looking at something with shoddy lighting like you are right now so this is not a permanent thing don't worry my light will be here tomorrow and everything will be okay so i'm just covering the patchiness from the alcohol marker boom and believe it or not we're almost done already so i'm just actually gonna come in and 
Our little mouse friend, I almost don't want to shade him. I might leave him just the way he is, honestly, because I don't, I think I just kind of want him to stand out from everything. So if everything else is shaded and he's kind of like, like I might shade his ears and stuff, but I don't want him shaded too much. So I might find a very light color just to shade him with. But again, it's it's really simple, no thinking type of coloring. So um, we'll see. We'll see what he looks like. And I just want to get some of these little rocks at the bottom where the plants are kind of hanging out and the water touches it. That's kind of where I want the shading on that. also underneath a little bit here and notice how I didn't shade the green the darker green and that's mainly because it's already so dark that I'm not gonna bother um, <clears throat> when it comes to easy coloring there's a lot of things you don't have to bother with so I'm coming in with a little bit of the shading for the ear and it's very subtle you can't even really tell. I didn't even have to bother with this either. But I did want a little shading in some areas. Like right here at the bottom where it's touching. And then right here of his tail. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so for the sky, because like I said, I don't really want to shade him. If you want to shade him, you can use, um, let's see, you can probably use a nice yellow ochre, which is not too dark. You can use yellow ochre, or you can use goldenrod, and I'll show you really quick. Let me just, here's goldenrod. So, like, you just want to shade the parts where his little fur and his hands is touching other parts of his body like this if you want to I mean I can shade him I guess show you guys but you don't really need to if you do him the same color that I did um because he's so light but if you just want to add some shading just to kind of you know but it's easy coloring so really it's not necessary but if you just wanted to, there you go. You could just add a little bit. Or if you feel like, you know, the light is coming from a certain direction, you can add a little bit on top of his head. You can add some behind his ear because, you know, the other ear is there. But you don't really need to. It's not necessary. Um, but what I do want to do is I'm going to come in with one of these yellows, probably canary. And just hit up around the edge of this the circle where the sun is coming in and I just want to bring it forward a little bit that's all I want to do just bring it in just a little so it kind of looks like the outside is a little bit dim and then it gets lighter as you get towards the middle and I'm just using light pressure. This is really just speed coloring, easy, mindless, get some color on the paper type of coloring. Uh, it's really not something that was meant to have you think too hard. So you can even come down here and bring the color up towards the top from the bottom. Just grab some from here and then in the back behind the bushes if you want to put some back there oh and
And then if you want, if you just really want to blend it in, you can come in with a lighter yellow and just do it all. Or if you want to, you know, deepen the depth, you can come in with a darker yellow, uh, which personally you can do like sunset. Um, if I can find it, let me see, where's my sunset? I'm going to show you here in a second. This is... Did I say sunset? I meant sunburst. That's why I couldn't find it because I wasn't looking for the... Anyway, you can come in just on the edges and you can deepen it a little bit. And it'll really give it that summer glow. If that's just something you really want to do, we can deepen it even, even more. But again, this is supposed to be easy. So we're not going into anything too crazy but someone's gonna ask so there you have it that's just if you just really want to deepen because you can you can add so much depth to this but we're not gonna do it because this is not what we're doing with this book this book is meant the easy stuff if you want to add depth and you want to learn that then you'll have to check out the advanced coloring ones and then there i show you how i add depth to my stuff but here nah we're just chilling we're just coloring in some he's having a blast he's jumping in the lake and and even though we didn't add like a lot of depth or anything to this it's still turned out really cool and all we did was use a few colors grabbed a few markers and it's really basic easy coloring and it's easy to follow i hope i hope it was easy to follow if not let me know and i will make it easier on the next one but i think it was pretty easy to follow um but there we have it. We didn't even really do anything. And then if you want to shade the lily pads, you can. But they're already nice and bright. But if you want, you can go with spring green. And just add just a little bit around one side of the lily pad. But you really don't need to. They're already nice and bright. And, you know, but if you just really wanted to, you could. Because sometimes... We can't help ourselves. We just got to go in and, you know, but it's not needed because you see it didn't change it much. It's still beautiful. So here's what we have. Let me move this ridiculous light. And I'm going to show you guys our picture is complete. And that was under an hour. That was under an hour with both videos combined. So I hope you enjoyed our easy coloring um i am going to date this even though i think today is the 10th if i am not mistaken uh yeah this is our easy coloring so let me know if you guys liked it leave a like share it if you don't mind and i will see you guys in the next one let me know in the comments if you guys want to see basic next patterns advanced or chaotic all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. I hope you colored along. And I'll see you next time. Bye.